Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to her and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. We need her junior discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you're not subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. First and foremost, we have about five videos that we've posted so far, and it's barely the first of the week. Yeah, feel me? Yay! We've been doing a good job. Also, make sure to smack that like button if you guys do want to see me do a Ramo Buchon giveaway for Mother's Day. I do it every year. I do about like three Ramo Buchon giveaways. So smack that like button, comment down below where it should be at. But let's Let's go ahead and get started with this week's freak of the week and it goes to not poncho just sitting back enjoying this toxicity <laughs> Now, the first thing that we're actually going to be talking about, did you guys see with Louis Casho and Joe Otzi? Now, I guess on this podcast, they were sharing a little bit of something rather than nothing. And in the podcast, they were talking about the X, 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 X. And if you're saying which X, Jesse. And I said, good. Now, if you guys didn't know, uh, according to my interview, which is a little bit confusing for me, according to my first interview with Jesse, he was basically saying that he had no beef with Louis. You know what I'm saying? That he had nothing to say, that they're good, they're good. And then Louis Castro, he had something rather than nothing to say. And this happened. Mine. But the reason that I remember getting even more angry is because her ex-partner at the time. Oh, my God. Decided to put their two sense and I, that's that right out of pitudo. nowhere you as you and i are having this huge <laughs> argument and like i'm already i'm already annoyed i'm already confused and i'm already frustrated at her for flaking on me and as she's and then again she starts explaining where it's stemming from i was already i was feeling like i was being put on the spot for something that i didn't do and then this dumb puts his two cents and starts coming at me but nada que ver with you and i's argument i feel like is it just kind of wanted to aprovechar that me and louis were fighting it against was each other it was his chance to degrade me yeah and his chance to like get in there and start telling louis because me and this person would always get into it yo no me dejo you guys like no, yeah. i am not the type As you should. especially with that person in particular yes. there was i never ever gave him an opportunity to disrespect degrade me you. or disrespect me yeah. ever in that moment it was very much like I was getting beat up and he was like, yes, my turn. Like it was like, my, yeah, my perfect opportunity to like jump in. So he came in and started saying the most and, and airing out Yoati and I's business in front of Yay. everybody again. Like other stuff that literally had, had like nothing, nothing to, to do, do with, with the argument. So then I start arguing with him and I'm like, I remember literally being like, who the f talking to you? <laughs> Dude, literally like, and he, why the f are you jumping in? <laughs> yeah, and he starts saying all this, shit, but then. Not only is he bringing his own personal, like, I literally swear to you guys, it was the most random bull ever because it had nothing to do with Yoati and I's argument. Literally. But as he's putting in his two f***ing cents, then he starts bringing up other little arguments that Yoati and I have. So in that moment, I'm going full psycho mode because it feels like, okay, so in my eyes, I have Yoati coming at me for things that I had no idea were going on and her crying. And then I have this dumb on the side yelling things at me about past things and things Literally, that i've done with him yes and then aside from that we have an audience of 10 people who just are really staring close at us staring like, i just felt like the bad guy and you, that dog was literally so toxic that when you left he walked in and he was like this is the moment like you have to realize what a true bad guy your brother is oh like, i think i remember you guys your brother that. is like such a bad person like takes advantage of you like yeah. he was just like feeding me all this yep. bit and i was so sad uh -huh. that i was like believing everything well, i felt like this was his perfect opportunity to separate yoatsi and i yes to have us like have a fallout everybody would put their butt up with this dude in the family everybody yeah. but i i want to say that i was probably like top of the list of like don't me or don't her yeah because every time he would get into a, uh, an argument with yuatsi i would walk in and yeah. one thing about me is like i am i like to think that i'm not very biased in a lot of things mm -hmm. and i think this guy was really trying to this was his perfect moment to separate yuatsi and i because mm -hmm. i would always put him in his place because 99 percent of the time he was always in the wrong doing Literally. some stupid 
So yes. remember Andrea telling me like, yeah, later on that he was getting in her ear and being like, yeah, like this is who he is. Like, he's a horrible person, like yes. blah, blah. And I obviously got very frustrated, but I, I couldn't. I was just very confused about him putting in his two cents. Like, it literally nada que ver. This yeah. was literally between me and Louis. Mm. Pero ese güey de la nada se metió el p***. Yeah, and oh, I, I think God. that's why she started packing on her. And then later on that night, I talked to Don again. And literally, like, me and you were good. We were already fine. Still, like, trying to be like, no, no, no. You can't let it just, like, be that easy. Mm. Like, you know, trying to, like, poison my brain. But I remember, I feel like at the end of it, me knowing, like, as much as he was trying to manipulate me, mm. I was just like, no, dude. Like, yeah. and I think we broke up that night. <laughs> yeah, I think I remember you telling me. Yeah, and I think he just felt kind of dumb because, like, at the end of it, he was just there, like. like and everyone was, just, was like, mad at him after. Yeah, like, because pendejo. everybody was just like, where the do you play a role yeah, in this? Yeah, you have nothing to... This is literally family matters. Like I said, I'm just a little bit confused because on the Jesse interview, he said that he didn't really have any much of beef with him, that they were good, they are good. Now, I'm not too quite sure what kind of tension they had, but in the podcast, Louis was basically explaining that they always had some sort of tension, that they were always... That he was always arguing with Jesse. But make sure to comment down below. What do you guys think about the whole situation with Louis and Yawati calling out the ex-Jesse? I was seeing some comments, though, on TikTok, and I want to ask you guys for your opinion, too. A lot of people are saying, why do you keep bringing him up? Why do you keep speaking about him? Yada, yada, yada. So comment down below as to why do you guys think that they still keep you know bringing him up yeah feel me i'm not too quite sure and then also yawatsi responded to all the backlash she was getting because a lot of people are always calling her out saying you need to stop acting like louis you need to stop having the same personality siblings pick up the same vocabulary the same mannerism especially if they're living with each other they pick up the same thing yeah feel me i, I can hear my sister sometimes zabanking <laughs> you know that is zabank, zabank, zabank. but that doesn't mean that she's me you know what i'm saying but they had this to say oh my. like Sweet i'll have other. people be like you're copying her you're copying him and it's, i'm like no we just grew up in the same house and, this, and we're very years. similar yeah so i feel like when yuatsi was showing me a lot of these comments i think it's just um for some people it's hard to think that we can have a similar personality or yeah. similar likings or I, and i i honestly also think that it's because a lot of these people literally don't have close relationships with their siblings mm -hmm. so they're just like hey, check it. or like some people literally hate their siblings yeah <laughs> like they hate their siblings like there's like yeah <laughs> no, like, don't literally. Look at me. so they're just probably like ill like why are they you know yeah and then also there's people who don't even know we're siblings yeah i feel like it's pretty obvious but people think that we're just friends, friends. <laughs> But um, when Yoatsi then showed me all those comments and stuff, like, I did really feel for her because I was like, oh, like, that can be f annoying. And I could see it because you're being authentic to yourself, but people are constantly, like... Like, saying that I'm to trying to be like you or that I don't have my own personality. But I'm like, babe, we're the same. Yeah. Like, even one time I remember... Because, um, like, I really am not copying you. Like, it just... <laughs> it, it, it is how it is. And one time... We were going to dinner and I went with Adam, Lauro and Alex and you were going to meet us there. Mm -hmm. But it was just me and Addy, Lauro and Alex at first. And I was just like being my normal self. And Addy starts laughing. He's like, you literally are like your brother. I was mm -hmm. like, what do you mean? And then he was just like, I feel like I'm with Louis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's told <laughs> me that like, too. Bitch. Yeah. And it's not like I do it on purpose. It's just like, this is how I am. But um, like literally like exactly what you just said, because there's people who question me a lot sometimes with my personality uh -huh. and constantly saying that like um copying certain people i'm doing certain things and i'm like no i was like this is literally who i am yeah and also like i was like dude i've been doing social media for years now Zavang. i'm just kidding she doesn't even be zavanky she's probably watching this and said what the hell i don't zavank <laughs> But aside from that, make sure to comment down below. What do you guys think about Yoati allegedly copying Louis Castro? And the next thing that we're actually going to be talking about, did you guys see this young lady by the name of Michelle Paz? She's getting a lot of hate and backlash because allegedly she's being very disrespectful, uh, I guess, to uh, her sister-in-law uh, and the mom was getting involved and yada, yada, yada. Now, I guess this all kind of stemmed because she ran. Uh, when it was the brother's baby shower, she allegedly ran and hugged him first instead of the actual sister-in-law. The sister-in-law was just there and she was like, what the fuck in Dublin? But she hugged him and said, this is my moment for life, for life. Now, she was getting backlash because she was saying that she edited the video. But there's a bunch of videos with different uh, perspectives. And it doesn't look like you edited absolutely. <laughs> let's just be honest. Let's just be real. So why did you come out and say that you edited the video? But this happened. My. First of all, I know y'all seen that video of me like automatically hugging my brother once he 
found out his gender. Cool. You guys really don't know the meaning behind that. I edited that video like- I edited that video like- I edited that video like- Like literally cut it to the point where I just went up and hugged him. Two seconds. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I cannot believe she didn't hug. Like, what? Me and my brother's girlfriend even talked about that too. We're like, yeah, like, I didn't see anything wrong with it. It was just the way that I edit the video. So please don't come on my like saying, my god, she didn't hug her. Okay, cool. I know I edited the whole video bad. Thank you. And she knows that I didn't hug him right away. Like, they had their moment, Bebs, okay? Don't believe what you see on the video, please. The way that I edited it. The way that I worded that on my Get Ready Me sounded so freaking wrong, okay? I did not call anyone the B word, okay? I did not. I was just talking, like, in general, like, bitch. You know what I mean? See, I think, personally, it would have been better if she came out from Wevios and said, yes, I went to go hug my brother. Instead of making all these lies, saying that, yeah, it was edited, yada, yada, yada. And then calling her sister the B word and saying that's just your, your vocabulary, the language. We'll take that vocabulary out because it's making you look bad, sister. And then there's other videos coming out forward that allegedly that she always liked the ex of the brother. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not sure if she has some sort of tension with the new sister-in-law. But a lot of people are calling her out saying weirdo behavior. You might as well marry your brother is what I was seeing. And I said, good. If your brother's sister did that when it was your, you know, your moment, would you have gotten mad? And for the world news, did you guys see? I, I'm not sure exactly what this is. I just been seeing it, and I'm kind of proud of it. Uh, these indigenous women, it seems that they're like running like a lot. I'm not sure if it's like a marathon, but they're running a lot, uh, kind of like across the world. And this happened. Oh my. So I think that's pretty cool. And I saw that some of them are doing it in chanclas. Imagine running for a long time in chanclas. I said, damn. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And make sure to smack that like button. Like I said, if you guys do want to see a Ramo Buchon giveaway. And it also shows me you guys love and appreciate these back-to-back -back videos. I've been trying my best to come out more on YouTube for my YouTube family. And I really do appreciate you guys.